Hello everyone. Hi there. Welcome to today's math class with Miss Anne and we are learning about money. And what exactly are we learning about money? We are learning how to add and subtract, okay? We are learning addition and subtraction of money. I want you to observe a trend in all of our math class. We've been learning how to add and subtract, okay? And we've also been learning how to multiply and divide. So this one period is mostly about addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, which means that if you are really, really struggling in any area, be it addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, you have to buckle up. You cannot escape addition. You cannot escape subtraction, multiplication, or division. So you really have to use the opportunity to build you just build yourself to be really, really grounded in these four areas of mathematics. Because we've learned how to add and subtract fractions. We've learned how to multiply and divide fractions. And now we are learning about how to add and subtract money. Okay? So let's get into today's class. We are going to learn what money is. We all know money. We all use money every day. We buy one or two things. We've held money. We've transferred money. We've spent money. So, but now we need to know exactly how to talk about money. How can we define money? What can we say money is? And we're going to also learn how to add money and how to subtract money. Okay, this is not just important for mass class, but it's also important in real life. Because like I said, every day we buy something. So we need to learn how to add money, how to subtract money so that we are not cheated in our daily transactions. Okay, now what is money? Money is a medium of exchange that we use to buy things that we need or want. What do we mean by a medium of exchange? You want something, let's assume you want an ice cream. What do you do? You go over to where you can get an ice cream, you see the ice cream you want, and then you check out the price. What do you do? You give them money, and in exchange, they give you what ice cream. So you give them money, and they give you ice cream. So you can give them money, they give you biscuit, depending on whatever it is you want to buy. But money has to be handed out and then you give me what it is you want. So that's what we mean by exchange. You give me money, I give you what you want. So money is a medium of exchange that we use to buy things that we need or want. Now, every country uses money. But, you know, money is called different things in different countries. So the different names of money is what we refer to as currency. The different names of money is what we refer to as currency. Now, in my country, Nigeria, we call money Naira, okay? The currency of money is Naira and Kobo. If you go over to, you know, the United States, they have what they call what? Dollars. Some people use pounds. We have yen for China. So that is that. We have euro. We have so many, you know, so many names of money, so, so many currencies. So every country around the world uses money. But we don't just say money, money, money. We have different names that we call money. So in Nigeria, the currency is called Naira and Kobo. Now let's talk about units of money. Units of money is used, um, units is the money that is used in a particular country. For example, like I said earlier on, in Nigeria, we use Naira and that is our symbol for Naira. In America, they use dollar and that is the symbol for dollar right there. In China, they use yen and that is the symbol of um, yen. So, money is called different names, and we have different symbols we use to, you know, identify the money of different countries. Now, let's talk about the units of money properly. One Naira is equal to 100 Kobo. So, if I give you 1.1 Naira, that is 100 Kobo plus 10 Kobo. Remember that 1 Naira is equal to 100 Kobo. So, if I give you 100 Kobo, it's the same thing as 1 Naira. If I say 1 Naira, I mean 100 Kobo. If I say 100 Kobo, I mean one nera. If I give you two nera, that is what I mean. I give, that means I give you hundred kobo and another hundred kobo, and that is equal to what two hundred kobo or two nera. If I give you three nera, I'm giving you hundred kobo in three places, and that makes it what three hundred kobo or three nera. Four nera is what four hundred kobo. Did you get the train? So one nera, hundred kobo, two nera, two hundred kobo, three nera, three hundred kobo, four nera, four hundred kobo, and so on like that. Now let's learn how to change from Naira to Kobo and from Kobo back to Naira. Look at this example over here. Change 130 Kobo to Naira. How do we do that? Um, huh? One Naira is equal to what? 100 Kobo and 100 Kobo is equal to what? One Naira. So if you have 130 Kobo, one change to Naira, that means what? 100 Kobo plus what? 30 Kobo. 
100 kobo plus 30 kobo. And like we have said earlier, 100 kobo means what? 1 nera. So 1 nera plus 30 kobo, that gives you what? 1.3 nera. 1.3 nera. Another example, now we have to change from nera down to kobo. So we have 2 nera 50 kobo. You split it, and that gives you 2 nera 50 kobo. So 2 nera means what? 200 kobo. So you have 200 kobo plus 50 kobo, and that gives you 250 kobo. Just simply remember that 1 nera is equal to 100 kobo. 100 kobo is equal to 1 nera. Okay, so that is that. So changing from cobalt to nera is super easy, and changing from nera to cobalt is super easy. Just for the example we have over here. Now let's learn how to add and subtract money because this is exactly where we are going to. This is the main focus of our lesson: how to add and subtract money. Example: We need to add thirteen nera forty-eight cobalt to fifteen nera thirty cobalt. How do we do that? So align everything. Okay. Point under point, nera under nera, your addition symbol, and then your figures over there. Then you have your line for your answer, that's your, your answer space, and then you do your addition. So 8 plus 0 is what? 8. You add nothing to 8, it still remains 8. 4 plus 3 is 7. Then you put your points, and then 3 plus 5 gives you 8, 1 plus 1 gives you 2. So you have 28 nera, 78 copper. So just basically your everyday addition. Okay, and now over to subtraction. So we have to remove 13 nera 45 cobalt from 15 nera 58 cobalt. So how do you do that? Your nera symbol should align, your point should align, and your figure should align. Then you have your subtraction symbol, you have your line for your answer space. And then when you take away 5 from 8, what do you have left? 3. You take away 4 from 5, what do you have left? 1. You put your points there. You take away 13 from 15, what are you left with? 2. So your final answer is what? 2 nera 13 Cobo. So now we've learned how um we've we've learned what money is. We've learned that money is called different names in different countries. We've learned about naira for Nigeria. We've learned about dollar for America. We've learned about yen for China. We've learned about pounds for the UK. And we've learned that um you know one naira is equal to hundred cobo. Hundred cobo is equal to one naira. It means the same thing. So we've learned how to identify naira. We've learned how to change from naira to cobo and how to change from cobo back to naira. We also learned how to add money and how to subtract money now you have some exercises just some simple fun exercise that you can try out questions on changing from cobalt to nera changing from nera back to cobalt and questions on i know adding money and subtracting money and i'm sure you do beautiful work but like i said you're smart so we've come to the end of today's class see you thank you bye